is the last little bit. So again, she smashes the clock the last 200 meters. Just camps in behind the speed. Probably doesn't want it too wet to nullify that turn of foot, but she's a deserved favorite. I like the way that Fireburn works the line. Wide draw doesn't help. Prometo was good. And Sajardin uh, did enough there. What do you say about the beaten brigade? I say that the favourite's main concern here if we got rain, mm. being a real testing 1400, then she's a $3.80 chance. Yep. Um, so the drier it is, the better her chances. The more I look at it, Fireburn, it, the 1400 plus for sure, and she went really well. And Prometo, I'm on his back, he hasn't peaked. Okay. Now here's Golden Mile, who surely was just impressive to the eye. He was good, yep. Yeah. He was fantastic on the clock as well. So they ran along at a good clip here, which a lot of people didn't forecast, including myself. Rise of the Masses went along out in front, and he was just way too strong at the end. So I think the more genuinely run the races on Saturday, the better off he is. Where mm. if it's a sit sprint, that plays to the stalemate, doesn't it? So if it turns into a test, he's right there in the finish as the market suggests. Now, um, so in secret, she's, she's gone to the, the Golden Rose path purely because of that heavy 10 that was thrown up. Mm. And these two fillies have also uh, decided to go towards the boys instead of following that traditional princess series. So we're, we're chock full of this filly's class this year. Yeah, and this is the filly. Um, she's extreme. She, she needed to run this day and to do what she did on a very heavy track I thought was excellent. Uh, considering circumstances, we know she's a Group 1 winner already, beating Fireburn at a mile. She uh, she did lead that day, so she, she drew wide that day and they left their options open. When she didn't, they went out, Tommy eased her back. So she's got much more speed, she maps much, much better here, and to think the father and son's horses are that far apart, apart in the market, she is a must bet for me. Uh, now, what about this uh, Melbourne visitor, Jackano, who's already been seen in Sydney, running sixth in the Golden Slipper? Yeah, look, I think the drier the better for him. Um, he, he was very good here, wasn't he? You know, he beat Af Cabin, uh, who's the next reincarnation of Farlap. <laughs> he runs over the top of him. Yeah, but he only went well in the in the wet last week. Yeah. After in the hail, yeah. in the hail and the, yeah. and the cyclone. Uh, yeah. He's a strong horse. The, the stable's been talking him up, and that's a dominant, dominant performance from a horse that appears that he might eat up 1400 so the only little scary thing when I was looking at the weather forecast I just penalized him that length or so but he is very dangerous uh, in, a, in a race like this. I'm His two first up wins in Melbourne have been very very similar to that very dominant first up wins and then he was sort of nowhere near as effective I didn't. Yeah there's not enough evidence for a young three-year-old yeah. I don't think not enough evidence. Um, Phillies or Colts? Phillies, Phillies, uh, she's extreme. Ten dollars versus two dollars seventy. That is just too, too, uh, too far apart. Um, in secrets to danger. Golden Mile probably. I think the scratching of Best of Bordeaux has hurt him a little bit. And but he's strong. And and Prometo at forty to one. I'd cry if he got home without. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Team Phillies as well here, and I found the same horse on that pure price angle. She just maps beautifully too, doesn't she? That's mm. the little the little cherry on top. Uh, if she doesn't find herself right there, I'd be very surprised. Maybe in that second pair. But you take a line through that last start effort, and Madame Pomery was well behind her. She came out and gave Zugotcha a bit of a scare, and Zugotcha, of course, beat in secret. So. There are a few tenuous links there to say that there's probably not a great bill between She's Extreme and In Secret on Talent. They've just gone different paths. Golden Mile is 100% in the mix. Uh, dominant winner of the Ming Dynasty and Jackano. Very interested to see how he does measure up, uh, but the noises from the camp are particularly positive. OK, we'll take our last break. When we come back, the Shannon Stakes and the finale.